What is up guys, it's me Joshua once again for another gameplay commentary and today I'm going to bring you some Medal of Honor Warfighter beta gameplay and of course it's on the only map that was in the beta, the Sarajevo Stadium map and the game mode of course was the only game mode in the beta like the map and it was the hotspot game type. So let me go ahead and say that my kind of perception with the whole Medal of Honor Warfighter game and or its beta has changed dramatically since I actually played it versus whenever I first heard about the game, you know, when I got Battlefield 3 first day and had the flyer in it. Um, yeah, and it's kind of turned into more of, I'm really optimistic about the game, and I think that it can actually provide some real competition versus the um, games that are really well established in the genre. Um, and initially, my kind of reaction was like, sigh, you know, it was a sigh kind of, kind of thing because of, you know, I'm sure you've understood the problems and the faults from the Medal of Honor reboot and whatnot, but it seems like they have fixed all of those things, or at least all that I can really remember that I disliked about the Medal of Honor reboot game. Um, so let me go ahead and talk about some of the things that I liked about the beta. Um, as the first thing, I'm sure you guys have the same thought is the fact that they actually installed kind of a kill cam kind of thing. Well, not necessarily kill cam, it's kind of like an after kill cam as it just show it kind of slows down and it kind of shows what they were going on right after they killed you. So, I guess it kind of combats camping in a way, which is really good of course cuz that was really notorious in the Metal Honor reboot. Um another thing I like is the fact that the gameplay is actually really fluid and it's fast, fast-paced and bunch of other things that just deal with the sheer mechanics of the game. Um, I like the fact that, of course, with Medal of Honor, it still has the split between the kill, I guess you want to call them kill streaks, or, um, I forget what they actually call them, <laughs> but of course you can get the offensive and you kind of get the more defensive one, of course, and that's kind of which each tier of the kill streak chain that you want to go on, and then even when you change kind of the characters or the nationalities or, or the countries of the characters it can actually change the kill streaks that rewarded in you know what order perhaps or just even introduce new ones so I thought that was really cool now a couple of things that I didn't really like about the beta is that I noticed that the, they had the two man fire teams and I think that this um, initially was a really good idea in a sense but it kind of turned into what it is in the beta and I'm not sure if they're going to change it or not because what happens is is you have two man fire teams that are broken up to, I don't know if it's like four or five per team, um, but you know, you're and your buddy or can only spawn on each other and everything else. And it's just kind of, it kind of sucks if you don't have a buddy for one because you have to always fall back and spawn. And then another thing that I found with the spawn system is the fact that if the Black Hawk is out or the chopper or whatever you want to call it, and I don't, I'm not sure if you can do it if your buddy is um, alive or not, but you have to spawn in the Blackhawk and you can really just get spawn killed and I, I, you know, I, I'll admit I've done it to people just, just because it's kind of funny because they drop down, they don't have no idea what's going, there's no spawn protection and it's going to get blasted away. Um, yeah. Um, another thing that I really liked about it is the fact that on the actual objectives you can plant the demo charge on a specific side rather than um, anything else and then they have to disarm it on that specific side as well. And I thought that was really interesting and I'm not sure if it can be more tactical or makes it more easy but I kind of like it. So yeah guys that is about all I got for you today. Um, hopefully you played the beta. I know I played and enjoyed it. Um, if there's any questions or anything or you want to talk about anything, leave a comment. But other than that, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time.